hello students welcome back to our class in the previous session we discussed about uh, what do you mean by line plane as well as a point and uh, what do you mean by angle and different angles formed between lines uh, let's discuss about the special types of angles between two lines special types of angles right so what are those special types of angles for example this is one ray ray oa ray and uh, another ray what is that another ray that another ray is for example ob ray right so oa ray and uh, ob ray what is the angle between these two rays angle between these two rays is equal to let us suppose it is 90 degrees angle between these two rays is equal to 90 degrees see here angle a o b is equal to 90 degrees but there is one more ray in between o a and o b which is dividing that angle a o b into two different parts okay two different parts means for example this is one more ray okay this ray is suppose o p ray there are two angles formed what are those two angles formed here angle AOP as well as angle BOP or POB whatever it is. Suppose if this angle measurement, I do not know what is the value of this angle, if this angle is equal to some 10 degrees, if this AOP is equal to 10 degrees, what would be the angle BOP, we can easily measure because the total angle between AO as well as BO is 90 degrees one of the part of the angle is equal to 10 degrees obviously the other would be 90 minus 10 so 90 minus 10 is equal to 80 degrees so here if it is 10 it is 80 if it is 20 degrees then it is 70 degrees if it is 30 degrees then it is 60 degrees if it is 45 degrees then this one also 45 degrees it means what this op dividing this entire right angle into two parts may be different may not be different this OP dividing entire 90 degrees into two parts may be different may not be different. So, if this angle is equal to theta then what could be the measure of this angle it could be 90 degrees minus theta it is theta and it is 90 minus theta. See when you add both the angles obviously it is 90 degrees right because these two are two parts of 90 degrees. So, this OP dividing that 90 degrees into two parts, one angle is theta and uh, one angle is 90 degrees minus theta. So, when you add both of them, you get 90 degrees. It means 90 degrees is divided into two angles, 90 degrees is divided into two angles. Then these two angles of 90 degrees are said to be complementary angles what do you call those angles complementary angles so complementary angles means what two parts of a right angle are said to be complementary angles more precisely if the sum of two angles is equal to 90 degrees then both of them are said to be complementary angles so for example x is one angle and y is one more angle when you add both of them what do you get here you will be getting 90 degrees so if x plus y is equal to 90 degrees then both of them are said to be complementary angles so simply complementary angles are nothing but two parts of a right angle are said to be complementary angles otherwise if the sum of two angles is equal to 90 degrees then both of them are said to be complementary angles right so this is about complementary angles please do remember this and then coming to the next one if the sum of two angles is equal to 90 then both of them are complementary angles for example i am taking one straight angle okay so this is the initial point for both the rays oa as well as ob right see there is one more line for example this is one more ray i am using the word line see this is one more ray let it be op fine the entire angle is going to be 180 degrees because it is a straight angle. Now this 180 degrees is divided by this OP into two angles, into two angles. For example, angle AOP is equal to 30 degrees. 
then what is angle P O B? It would be 180 minus 30 degrees because the other part is 180 minus of this part only, no? right? Because these two add up together 180 degrees. So that is why if this angle is equal to 30 degrees, this entire angle is equal to 180 minus 30 means 150 degrees. If this angle is equal to 1 degree, then what about this angle POB is equal to 179 degrees because 180 minus 1 degree is equal to 179 degrees. Suppose if this angle is equal to 60 degrees, then what about the other angle 180 minus 60 is equal to 120 degrees. So here if this angle is equal to theta, then what is the measure of this angle is obviously 180 degrees minus theta. So these two are two parts of 180 degrees. If 180 degrees is divided into two parts, one is theta and the other one is 180 degrees minus theta, then these two angles add up to get 180 degrees. Therefore, these two angles are said to be, what do you call those two angles? Those two angles are said to be supplementary angle, supplementary angles. Right. So, supplementary angles means what? Two parts of 180 degrees. Otherwise, if the sum of two angles is equal to 180 degrees, then both the two angles are said to be supplementary angles. This is just like our 90 degrees complementary angles. If sum of two angles is equal to 90, then both of them are said to be complementary angles. Similarly, if the sum of two angles is equal to 180 degrees, then both of them are said to be supplementary angle. So, if theta is one angle, then what is its supplementary? Its supplementary is going to be 180 minus theta. So, you can identify, suppose if theta uh, is equal to like one angle is equal to 32 degrees. If one angle is equal to 32 degrees, then what is its supplementary angle? Supplementary of, supplementary of 30 degrees is, sorry, 32 degrees is 180 degrees minus 32 degrees. 180 minus 32 is equal to how much? 148 degrees. So that is what it is the supplementary of 32 degrees. Like that, suppose your angle is 1 degree. So if one angle is 1 degree, what is its supplementary? Its supplementary is going to be 180 degrees minus 1 degree, which is equal to 179 degrees. So this way, we can define what do you mean by supplementary angles and what do you mean by complementary angles. I repeat, complementary angles means if the sum of two angles is equal to 90, then both of them are said to be complementary angles. They may be different, they may be same, but the sum is going to be 90 degrees. If the sum of two angles is equal to 180 degrees, then both of them are said to be supplementary angles. If sum of two angles is equal to 90, they are said to be complementary angles. If the sum of two angles is equal to 180 degrees, then they are said to be supplementary angles. Please do remember that. And coming to the next part. There are some different types of angles, different types of angles. See, let us suppose this is one line and this is one more line. These two lines intersect at a point. Okay. For example, this is the uh, intersection point O and uh, this is B and this is A and let it be some P and let it be some Q. Just to identify the angles easily, right. See here, the angles which are opposite to each other, the angles which are opposite to each other, what are the angles which are opposite to each other? See this is one angle, if you consider this angle, then the angle exactly opposite to this is this angle, right. So these two angles are in the shape of V, so that is why these two angles are said to be opposite angles, more precisely we can say that vertically opposite angles. What do you call them? Vertically opposite angles. And if these two are one pair of vertically opposite angles, will you be able to identify what is the another pair of opposite vertically opposite angles? Yes, these two are another pair of vertically opposite angles. But what is the relationship between them? Is there any relationship between vertically opposite angles? Let us try to understand. I will just give names for four angles. For example, this angle is equal to x and this angle equal to y and this angle equal to z, this angle equal to w. 
we know that x plus y plus z plus w is equal to it is a complete angle right complete angle is equal to 360 degrees ok fine x plus y plus z plus w is equal to 360 degrees because this is a complete angle that is one point we understood from this figure and another point see here a b can be considered as a straight line because that was already a straight line and p q e is another straight line got it and now see here this o p dividing this a b into two parts one part is x and one part is y what is the measure of x plus y x plus y is going to be 180 degrees because this is a straight line ok i will write that x plus y is equal to 180 degrees correct and uh, now you see this p q is also straight line right this straight line p q and this o b dividing that straight line into two different parts what are those two y and z so you can say that y plus z is equal to 180 degrees so x plus y is equal to 180 y plus z is also equal to 180 from this what did you observe x plus y value and y plus z value both are same right so i will write that as x plus y is equal to y plus z correct to simplify just transpose y that side then what do you get x is equal to y plus z minus y so minus y plus y cancel you get x is equal to z what is that x and what is that z x and z are a pair of vertically opposite angles but they are equal also so from this you can understand one thing that x and z are said to be vertically opposite angles as well as vertically opposite angles are always equal this is very very basic and important point that everybody has to remember in our geometry concepts because frequently we use the concept of vertically opposite angles there you will have to understand and remember that vertically opposite angles are always equal just because of this ok so here x and z both are equal and of course these two are one pair of vertically opposite angles other pair of opposite to vertically op vertically opposite angles are y and w obviously y and w also equal as well as x and z also equal these two are two pairs of vertically opposite angles and coming to the next one see if y and w are vertically opposite angles z and x are vertically opposite angles then what do you call this x and y that x and y both are said to be already sum of these two angles is equal to 180 degrees but see whatever the initial vertex for the angle o a b o a p and that is only the initial vertex for p o b and these two angles have a common ray if these two angles have a common ray then those two angles are said to be adjacent angle one is next to the other so two angles are said to be adjacent angles if they have a common ray if there is a common ray then only they are said to be adjacent angle so here op is the common ray for x and y that's why x and y are said to be adjacent angles of course later you can check whether there is sum is equal to 180 or not that doesn't matter and if these two are two adjacent angles it does not mean that their sum is always 180 degrees for example i will take one angle like this okay this is one angle this is O and this is uh, ray for example this is A and this is the ray another ray this is B there is one line between these two ok this is one ray for example what is the what is the sum of these two angles cannot be 90 cannot be 180 degrees right but here O P is the common ray for these two angles then also these two angles are said to be alpha and beta for example these two angles are said to be adjacent angles so that adjacent angles are nothing but two angles are said to be adjacent if they have a common ray understand they are said to be adjacent angles so if two angles are adjacent angles it does not mean that their their sum is always 90 or their sum is always 180 degrees okay it can be anything right so this is about adjacent angles and we discussed about vertically opposite angles also and after that i am going to explain you 
one of the very important concept in our lines, pair of lines. See here, two lines which has a common point, then those two lines are said to be intersecting lines. If more than two lines have the same intersecting point, then they are said to be concurrent lines, because the point is said to be point of concurrence. But here, these two are two lines which never intersect at any point. If two lines never intersect at any point, then what do you call those two lines? Yes, you know that they are said to be a pair of parallel lines. We have already learnt all these things. Like see, the edge of this board as well as edge of the other board, these two never intersect at any point. That is why these two are a parallel pair of parallel lines. Okay? Like that we come across so many number of examples. See here, these two lines are parallel lines because they never intersect at any point. But that was the definition we learnt in grade 6. Since we are upgrading, we need to understand what do you mean by pair of parallel lines in a better way. Of course, two lines never intersect at any point, they are said to be parallel lines. But you need to understand how do you utilize that information. And in which cases you can say that they are parallel lines, apart from they never intersect at any point. That is the basic concept, the basic idea of a pair of parallel lines. But what more that you can express about, what more that you can understand about a pair of parallel lines. See here, these two are pair of parallel lines. This is what the perpendicular distance between both the two parallel lines, perpendicular distance. Okay. I am using the word perpendicular distance because distance between two points may be different from the perpendicular distance. right? See, these two are two lines. What is the distance between these two lines? Then I will do one thing. I will take one point here and I will take one more point here and I will measure the distance between these two. This is one distance between these two. But whenever you find out the distance, then it should be shortest distance. Shortest distance is also called as perpendicular distance. Got my point? Right. So, this is the perpendicular distance between these two lines at these two points. I will take one more point here and again from there I will draw perpendicular from this point to this line. So, this is one more perpendicular distance. See here, if these two perpendicular distances D1 and D2 between these two lines, if these two are same, then I can say that these two lines are said to be parallel lines. So, this is the upgraded definition of a pair of parallel lines. Two lines are said to be parallel lines. If the perpendicular distance between both the two lines at two different points is always same, then only they are said to be parallel lines. Hope you understand about parallel lines. These two are parallel lines because their perpendicular distance between both of them are always same. So, these two are said to be parallel lines and uh, of course, what do you mean by perpendicular lines? Perpendicular lines are nothing but the angle between both the two lines is equal to 90 degrees, then they are said to be perpendicular lines. So, with this uh, concept we understand one thing that what do you mean by a pair of parallel lines and what do you mean by vertically opposite angles and what do you mean by adjacent angles and uh, what do you mean by supplementary angles and what do you mean by complementary angles. Hope you understand. Thank you.